The biggest question on top of the lips of everybody inside of Bodo, Nigeria. Now who go carry us go the promised land? Where the picking of person will be nobody go become somebody. Since Nigeria returned to democracy for May 29, 1999, it just be like say we they lab because we they try. They see how the thing will be. Chief Olusha Gobaso just sit down chin as president of the country. From that 1999, go reach 2007, in try in best. He finish, he carry in Kaya come out. The late Umaru Musa Yadua, he be enter. He not finish. But he vice president at the time, good luck, Emile Jonathan, finish in term. That one also win election. Sidon Chin as the president of Nigeria. Make una de calculate the years, oh. He reached 2015. Good luck, Emile Jonathan talk, say, I seen don't serve Nigerians the first time, he won't serve again. But people call him, say, come. Wahala no they finish. Problem too much. See your government, see problem. Some of these problems when they at least give up, include insecurity, the economy of this country, and the fact that every time I see they as president of this country, money go wear mini skirt, koi koi shoe, it go miss. President Mohamed Buhari enter for 2015. If you calculate I'm rich now, seven years, now I'm in there on top of that place. The job will, I said, the foundation of this country, they shake. If we don't get different people as leaders for this country, and they don't try their best. And it be like, say, the best when they try, yo, we go still need to try harder. Who go come enter? To come try this try. When go move Nigeria, go the promised land. This year, they're very, very special because now, yeah, I go speak English. Preceding general elections inside of Bodo, Nigeria. Whether or not the position of president, whether or not that of governor, whether or not that of senate, honorable when the House of Representatives, those when the State House of Assembly, everybody don't begin to prepare now. People go present themselves to exercise their right to suffrage. Say, vote for me, vote for me. And Nigerians go exercise their right to franchise. Say, now nah, you we want. But who be the person when we want? Which kind of leader go drag the motor of this country? Come on for inside bush when he there now. Use GPS, lead us to the promised land. Very important question. Now we they ask so. We get Ogun Gavisto when go join us at all of us in the heart. To chuck by this side. Tell us the kind of character of the leader. Now fine man, now fine woman, now tall man. Now tall woman, now small man, now small woman, now person when they speak spree, 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 when they come to English, or now person where we say get idea, waiting with the idea when they get. How the person go take work? Which side the person go do? The problem of Nigeria go ever solve, who be the right candidate? Now what we go discuss today on top of us in the heart. My name, now Ezugo Chokodi, Una welcome. And my own name never see change, my name still remains Unkubi. Now welcome to us. In the heart. Unkubi, you don't hear the important question when we ask mm. whether I'm a big man or I'm a big woman, mm. a small man or a small woman, mm. go solve the problem mm. when we face inside our country. Mm -hmm. Who be the ideal candidate when Nigerians need to use carry us from this position when we day, rich position when we say our belly go the sweet us? Very important question. Well, we will not need to even to look at because already for our mind, our individual mind will know the kind of ideal leader we want. And um, that ideally, then somebody will be selfless. Somebody will be say, we will first carry the interest of the people for mind first. First of all, somebody will say, we will think about development ahead. Somebody will say, we will think about the next generation of people who will take over the country. And with those things, we will also lay down for those generations to also improve on for their own generation to come. Hmm. Somebody will say, at least sacrifice will be in key word. Because if they, if they serve people, if they lead people, if you look at other countries, we also don't go through this phase. We don't see countries where we say their leaders give these sacrifices. In our own case, how the sacrifices be? We get those leaders where if you just boast today, say yes. Okay, I don't come out. I don't call rule now. If I rule now, now we don't say yes, a true leader lead now. So we get them because these days, I'm not gonna lie. Anybody will come out because saying they show interest to become president, fear they catch us. Hmm. Because over time, as a matter of fact, over time, since the inception of this country, people don't come, present um, um, this thing, present talks to you, present proposals, present everything to you, say they will do this, they will do this. They will do that, they will do this. And they longer waiting than do. It's I can true. never, I know. Mm. Nothing. So that is the question. Who will be that leader? Who will be that leader for your own mind? Who if you say, if you look and finish, this person, from your church mind, from your religious mind, from your moral mind, say, yes, yeah, this person. Actually, if he guide us to the promised land. And for everybody when they watch Asi the Hot this evening, we hope say after the show this evening, mm. your face will don't know the direction where you go. They look. If somebody come and talk, say, I won't be the leader of this country. 
whether now as president, as governor, or as person when they the legislative arm of government, those people when they make law inside this country, you go look and say, wait, oh, he get this quality, he get that quality, he get this one, he get that one. If we give this person the opportunity, the person will go vote. So today, now lecture, now we did on top of our city halls. And who better to discuss this matter with us? That person will be saying, he himself don't come out, oh. Bam. He buy the material of a political party. Bam. Uh, because now until they choose you, now you go become the candidate. Mm. So now, he be waiting for what they call aspirant. He carry the material now and go give Taylor. Taylor don't measure him. Mm. They don't swear and give him. Mm. On the day when the party go do their primaries, he himself go come out, do fashion parade. If now if they want, then go give up. Bam. And if they give up, he go present himself for election and he go serve the Nigerian people. But we go ask him question. I know it's out of as the hot. The matter go hot. We know they hide mouth. We know they we know they do um, we know they hide uh, mouth. We, we all do respect. Mm. We go ask him the question. No. Bam. We go ask him and he go provide answer. If you don't provide answer and I fight, now we we'll go fight on top of as the hot today. But we we'll just carry waka come out. When we carry this waka come out, we get one better report. We we'll go arrange Gibuna. After this report, so. We will go straight into the matter with our Ugonga visitor, Mazi Mao Ohuabunwa. He be presidential uh, aspirant of the People's Democratic Party. We will discuss importantly. Now, senior man, he read book, reach the level where he say, if he open book now, book will begin to shout, close me, close me, close me, because into Sabi book. And if you check those will be professionals, when it come to those will be said, they be pharmacists inside this country. In the Tanda as the organic matter for this country. Today, we go to part inside plenty of discussion. Don't go anywhere. Now, still ask in the heart. Will they come back? They come and talk to down here. They will seal up their ear. Once they seal up their ear, they will go back to sleep. They will seal up their ear. Once they seal up their ear, they will go back to sleep. Welcome back to Asi the Heart. Our Ugonga visitor, Mazi Sam Ohuabunwa, don't sit down with us on top of Asi the Heart. And he go chuck out on top of the discussion when we carry come today. We they ask, say, as we they approach election inside of Bodo, Nigeria, what will be the quality when that leader of this country must get? Remember, we know they talk about just president. Any position when we say Nigerians go come out to vote for person. What is Nigeria supposed to look out for? As it takes the qualities where that person must get to talk saying that this person, oh, if you get this position, he go do well. Uh, Mazi Sam Oho Abunwa, a senior man inside this country for business in Sabi and Wewe. In fact, once in here, figures and naira, cobble, pounds, sterling, dollars, baby back, he must give you the answer, no matter how the number take long. When it comes to a profession, a person will be say, he read book, reach the point where he say, the people when they that particular sector call and come say no. This book where you sabi, this experience where you get. Call leaders because you sabi. And he don't look and say, okay, oh, based on inequalities, in experience, and the passion and desire when he get for this country. And he go throw in hats, enter inside the ring to follow people when they're inside the party, when be the People's Democratic Party to contest for who go wear the jersey of the party to represent that party for general elections or as they concern the office of president for 2023. Mazi Samo Habuwa, welcome to Asi the Hot. Thank you very much. I'm so glad to be here to you know, spend this time with you guys. Welcome. Thank we are you. glad to have you. Thank you. Uh, make we first warn you. Yeah. Because on top of Asi the Hot, uh, we be friends. Mm, you yes. are here. Uh -huh. But yeah. when would they ask the question? We know they ask questions, say, we go ask the question as it be. Yeah. If you're not clear, we'll ask them again. Correct. I wait till they know us for and now why they should be as the hot. We could just go straight into the conversation. Yeah. Now, uh, 2023 is a very important year for inside this our country. If we check the number of people who don't come out talk, say uh, they won't contest uh, to become president of Nigeria or any other position. Uh, I won't make you talk some of the things when we say those people suppose get before they come out to talk, say, okay, oh, I won't present myself. Uh, to contest for any position inside this country. What will be some of the qualities? Chenna said the person must school abroad, the person must get money, the person must wear fine, fine clothes, he must they speak spree, 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 or if the person will be sending that when he comes, people go to hell because he's popular. What will be the qualities when this person must possess? Uh, in my book that I wrote in 2010 called Nigeria, Need for the Evolution of a New Nation, I identified two characteristics of fit or virtues which I believe that any major political leader should have in our country. And I might not tell you all tonight, uh, because it's a long list, but there are specific critical things there. 
Number one is that the person must be enlightened. As it goes, sabi book. Mm -hmm. Not be sabi just book. Sabi book is education. Enlightenment is more than sabi book. Exposure. Exposure. You don't see world. You don't grow up. Pass here, pass here. Understand, say, my neighbor first fit big past my own. My neighbor house fits more past my own. Not be say I live here. All I they see now my house. My, ne my left and right. And I think say, now me get the world. That is enlightenment. You go, don't go around the world, go around your community, go around other states. Go. So we must start person more be enlightened because enlightenment now they help you compare things and know where you did against another person. Number two, the person is supposed to be educated. Education, we say education they help you open your mind. One thing you could know if you do edu if you be educated person, not be say you get PhD or DSC. When you don't get education, one thing you could know be say what you say be this more. For those of us who don't write uh, uh, thesis, I be uh, waiting the column project. for your final project. You know the way they conclude your project. Be say mm -hmm. this work what I don't do. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't try, but if you say like more work need to be done. Mm -hmm. Not be so. Yes. Uh, that's the education. You know that you only know little. So it opens your mind. It reduces your arrogance. Because people who are not educated are arrogant. They know small. They think they know all. But if you're educated, you will know that you only know very little. You are willing to listen to other people. You are willing. The meaning of education is to do things first, to open your mind, to, to teach you how to ask questions. Because you know savvy everything. Mm -hmm. And then how to answer a question. That's education. You know, how, what, how, why. Anybody who knows savvy answer this question, no fit to organize anybody else. Mm -hmm. Because you go think say Nahim Sabi all the information. You go too day proud to ask other people. He knows, doesn't know how, he doesn't know what, he doesn't know uh, by how. So that's education. Mm -hmm. And when I talk about it, I know they say must get PhD. I mean, say don't go. Through normal school. And in mind, be open. In mind, be open. You don't begin to know how to ask questions and how to answer questions. Mm -hmm. Number three, we say the person must get character. What you call the side of character that captures it, what we call integrity. Eh? Integrity, what does it mean? We say, if I tell you something for money, you meet me tomorrow, I go still tell you the same thing. If I want to change my mind, I go tell you, yes, so. Um, Yesterday, I tell you, say this, Nadi. But today, uh, you know, yesterday, I tell you, say the world, they flat. But between yesterday and now, don't get new information. Say the world, they round. So I want to tell you, say I want to change what I tell you yesterday. But those who no not integrity, if they tell you, say the world, they uh, flat today, when you come tomorrow, they say the world, they round. You say, I bet you tell me, say, you say, you don't understand me. You mm -hmm. misunderstood me. Mm -hmm. You are quoting me out of context. You are misquoting, you are misquoting me. me. Many of them fool for people who want to run government, though. Mm. This way they misquote. Integrity means that your word is your bond. If you say, I they come, eh? make people wait for you. Go come, you go come, unless you know they are alive. Mm. But some people will get, eh, they go follow right uh, manifesto. They say not be done right. Mm. They go make promise, say when they come to office, they go do restructure. They say they don't know the meaning of restructure. Make you tell them the meaning of restructuring. For me, you go Me, national assembly. Meanwhile, dictionary day, mm. dictionary day, both online and uh, all the other dictionary, where you go first say, what is the meaning of restructuring? They tell me, what do you mean? When did they talk and before, what do you mean? Mm -hmm. That is lack of integrity. Number four, Shane and number three, I don't talk. Mm. Number three, mentioned. Number three. Number four, we say the person must be visionary. Mm. Visionary means, say, you go see a better tomorrow. Because if you know see better tomorrow, where you want to take people go, any leader they take people from one point to point, another point, point A to point B, and the only reason why you go take me and you to point A and B, go show us, say that new place where they go, go better than where we are. Otherwise, if you don't tell us where we they go, <laughs> if they go left, we they go right. Sometimes they go put gun behind us or soldier make you push us. But if you say, hey guys, we are going there, it will take us two years to get there. There's going to be difficulty on the road, but we won't get there. And you know, this lack of job will end, poverty will end, and you show how it will happen. If you convince the people, they go follow you. Mm. 
Any leader who no get vision can't lead people sufficiently because he'll be responding to if train pass, he follow train. If bus pass, he follow if rat. But if you get where you do go, all of you go focus, say now here would they go. Think where the one push you down, say no, now this side would they go. Say number four. Mm. Number five, be say the person must understand what is they call power of work. Power of work. Power of work. I've talked about power of vision. This is power of work. That is anything that we must succeed, a lot of work must go into it, not wishes. And before that work, it must be preceded by planning. It must be somebody who has a plan. Mm -hmm. We could say, yes, I want to take you guys to that place where number seven, they will there for number two. How will we move from two to seven? What do we do tomorrow? What do we do the day after? What do we do the day after? What are the resources we need? And then what are these issues we are going to face on the road to the journey? Planning. Mm. Then put the work where you want. Finally, Ma Ma finally, let me, final, let me final. put the last mm. critical one. The person must fear God and love humanity. God fear me. If you know fear God, you know love humanity. Go stay for your house. Because as you talk at the, at the introduction, the whole thing is sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Leadership is sacrifice. Leadership is sacrifice. It is nothing else but sacrifice. You are saying, gentlemen, I am coming to carry your weight. I'm coming to carry your problem. I'm coming to solve your problem. So you are not the one to be served. You have decided to serve us. You are our servant. Mm -hmm. But you know for Nigeria here now, uh, our leaders, they be ogre. When you reach for election, they say, vote for me. After that, if you, you know, call you them, them again. if you said that they don't reply, mm -hmm. if you go for that again, they tell make soldier drive you away. Mm -hmm. That we don't want those kind of. We say make Nigeria, make Nigerians ask, check all these things. If somebody say one build twenty five story for you, eh? Ask and make you show me five story where you don't build. Mm -hmm. So Mazi Samen, you don't talk about enlightenment, education, integrity. You say vision. You say yeah. power of work. Yes. And then power of um, God fearing. God fearing. Man. Now, we don't get 23 years of uninterrupted civilian rule. Yeah. Shena say at all level, because if this quality is there, mm -hmm. and those who don't represent us at every level over these years, yeah. don't exhibit these qualities. Yeah. Nigeria no go there the place where we say Nigeria day. Sure. Shena say these qualities them. He gets university when then they go learn yeah. Or he get fasting and prayer where person go do before the spirit go enter the person. Because if we get all these qualities or we get these, you know, human resources, people when we say, then they enlighten, they don't travel around the world, there's a big book, they do this, they do that. Then on the day when they do inauguration, is there they swear with Quran or they swear with Holy Bible? Yeah. Then go come, hey, my word is my bond and everything. And Nigeria see they where they day. These qualities where he gets one supermarket where they sell lamb. Where these qualities they? You know, if you check, eh, they get some kind of work where they do, or kind of experience where you go get, where you go help you garner these qualities. If you come, you come go school, eh, then go school, you go school, uh, they send you scholarship, you go to school, then from school you join uh, government work. Uh, from government work, you join politics. From politics, you become your line of experience on one side. Okay. You are in the appropriation. Let us use the money that other people are making, tax money. You never borrow money before. You never pay interest for bank. Bank never threaten you, say they go close your shop or sell your house or sell your car. <laughs> if you go borrow money, pay the interest. Return the money to the bank. You don't experience where you go get. Because on Saturday, Sunday, when would they, would they do no work? Holiday. A lower continuer. They recharge you interest too. Mm -hmm. For bank. Mm -hmm. But if you still manage to use that money to do business, you don't get an experience. Two, you get people where they come, join, uh, like some people can join uh, uh, some business, civil service or employment. We just join, right? Uh, yeah, uh, we stay two years. After two years, they promote us to one level. After three years, they promote us to another level. After four years, what experience the person they learn? What did they find? There are places you go be before you move. You have shown your competence. Even if on a day ten come, mm. the only person that can move is the person who has shown competence and capacity to deliver. Where there is performance, 
you know, I, I don't want to run, I mean, the issue is we're talking about what Nigerians should be looking for. Experience is something that you do not buy mm -hmm. in the marketplace. And how you acquire character is through the processes you have passed through. If your process, now this easy line, you're going to see things as easy. If your process, now the one where you don't struggle, you go tough in you. So what's not the talk, in summary? Be say, anybody where you see him work, not only government work where you don't do. Government picking. He go to school for government. He enter school for government. He work for government. He eats government money. He, uh, government put down for government house. Give him government car. When he finish, he be government, government, government. Mm. The person go get one type of experience. Mm -hmm. But when you see somebody, we don't go start business, run business, reach a level. We don't go manage other groups, other businesses, other investment, you know, do NGO work, do private, do public. He gathered those experiences and it helps him to move forward. So that is the school. The school is in the marketplace, not, not in university, and it's the span of experience you have. Many people mean well. But because of lack of experience or understanding, and I, I can give you examples of where those things show up. Like in wealth creation today, the greatest problem Nigeria gets is poverty. Mm -hmm. First, we never built kiosks before. We never trade before. How you go know how to create to do business? Or to manage the economy. I manage the economy. Tell me how you go manage. Tell me. Somebody will never sit down and say, write business plan. How I go do business? If I borrow money, who I go call? Where my friends? Where we go put they put it together. Well, we we'll go borrow money, we we'll go pay, we we'll do business, we want to produce this thing, we want to the discipline in creating the product, the discipline in, in marketing it, the discipline in selling it, discipline in marketing it. Look, if, if you've been a marketing person, you get a discipline, which is you're looking at the consumer. And in this case, your consumer can be the citizen. You are interested in pressing the city. But if your work be say all the person where they see an enemy, mm -hmm. you want to kill them, now you're training and kill people. Hey, if the man they cry now in business, you're not interested in pleasing him. Mm -hmm. But because you've been you've, you've, you've sold, you've done marketing, you see people as customers whom you will please. If you become head of state, you still see them as customers and you want to please them. That's how experiences come. Okay, uh, Mazi, um, yes. you, you don't talk about the experiences. I also don't look into, okay, the qualities of them, um, which you go take somebody to fix it in the present itself as um, you know, a viable person way he rules the country. Okay, if we look the country over day to day, a lot of these people will get these qualities day. Yeah. Then plenty. Sure. Everywhere. But then, if we also can look on the reverse or probably waiting day in front of them, they will go through process. Yeah. So say, yes, yeah, so I don't present myself or oh, make not take me as mm. somebody who will lead you now. Yeah. Make we also can look at this way. This person will go through political parties. Mm -hmm. will go through faces. Mm -hmm. If you don't present yourself, no, if you let you get the qualities, mm -hmm. and you can't get political parties mm -hmm. where they say, we no concur mm -hmm. with your qualities based on what you guys offer to them. Sure. How you think, say, these same qualities go they effective for this country? Now, it be the problem. That is why people do say, if a good move will get independent candidates mm -hmm. for our constitution. Mm. So somebody who feels capable who presents himself. Let Nigerians decide. By the time he presents his CV, his profile, and go through this kind of interrogation, they will know whether or not the right person. But if you have to go through the party, if the party has a different focus, Again, you know, you can't give what you do not have. Mm. If I come interview now, and all the people who they interview me have limited vision, limited experience, limited knowledge, limited foresight, the question they go ask me will be limited. And they will evaluate me on that limited thing. Whereas if today they bring you, bring you, you've been CEO somewhere, you've been chief executive somewhere, you've been chairman somewhere, you've been secretary somewhere, very the experience the person can emerge. Mm. So it's a major problem that you have, and it's one of the critical issues in our political choice today. That was why, if you ask me, I preferred uh, direct primaries. Mm -hmm. Direct primaries opens you up to all the members of the party. First, it's more democratic, but it opens you up to a variety of experiences than limiting you to a, a number of people who may have a different motivation. Uh, so it's a shortfall. But 
We are just hoping that somehow, that uh, by the grace of God, especially for people like us, uh, and, and by the force of your conviction and ability to convince people when you interact with them, they may begin to look at things from a broader perspective than the narrow perspective that people can tell you. I mean, because today, when, when you go to parties like PDP or APC, and we're talking about primaries, people are telling you how much money do you have, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as if that is the only uh, deciding factor. And mm -hmm. we're telling them that 2023 will be different. Nigerians will collect money, mm -hmm. but they are more likely this time than ever to vote their conscience. That's my thinking. I may just be uh, uh, optimistic, mm -hmm. but if you see what's going on in Nigeria now, you know, say Nigerians. Things go they different from the way they before. Begin to look different. Mazi Sam, what we go do now? Now to just carry waka enter inside one small break. Yeah. When we go this break, come back. We will continue our conversation as it take concern all these qualities where you don't list. Yeah. And we will come narrow them down to the major political parties inside of Bodo Nigeria. Yeah. People when they have said go fee join us. Yes. Uh, you get the point when we go reach. You go oh give us our telephone lines. Make us call us and also check out for this conversation when they talk. When they talk about the kind of qualities where we need uh, for those where we say. Go occupy positions of leadership inside this country. Remember, 2023 is a very big year for this country because general elections will happen inside the Bodo Nigeria. Don't go anywhere when they come back. Now, still, I see the heart. They will seal up their ear. Once they seal up their ear, they will go back to sleep. They will seal up their ear. Once they seal up their ear, they will go back to sleep. They will seal up their ear. Once they seal up their ear, they will go back to sleep. The biggest question for everybody lives now who could take us to the promised land. By promised land, we mean a place where nobody will become somebody without knowing anybody. Well, since Nigeria returned to democratic rule for 1999, we don't get 23 years of uninterrupted rule. It didn't start when Olusegun Obasanjo take over from the military head of state who he named be Abdul Salami Abubakar. I Olusegun Obasanjo. I, Olusegun Obasanjo. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will be faithful. That I will be faithful. And bear true allegiance. And bear true allegiance. To the Federal Republic of Nigeria. To the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And that I will preserve and that I will preserve, protect, protect, and defend, and defend the constitution, the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So help me God. So help me God. After Obasanjo rule for eight years, uh, we get President Omar Musa Yaradwa. But due to him bad health, him only did office for two years. And after him die, good luck Ebele Jonathan will be in vice, come finish in tenure. After that, him begin the campaign for 2011. Those who say they want to take over, they want to take power over from PDP. I've been telling a lot of lies. They have hired people from all over the world. And those of you in the social media are telling all kinds of lies. Painting all kinds of color, giving you all kinds of bits that you cannot defend. And if you listen to us for the 37 places that will address these issues, you will not know where to cast your vote. They talk about insecurity, that they will fight insecurity. And you ask, are our armed forces weak? Are the Nigerians in the armed forces weak? If we have problems, what is the cause? E -e -e equipment. They don't have platforms. And somebody who wakes up and tells young people of 23 years old, that he wants to fight insecurity. Ask him when he was the head of government, did he buy one rifle for a Nigerian soldier? When he remind us about when him no get shoe, and Nigerians buy him, and at the end, he return as president of the country. From that moment, the administration been get problems we range from kidnapping and even cheaper girls wahala and plenty corruption with they tied to the presidency of good luck Ebele Jonathan. Now why majority of Nigerians begin to cry for change for 2015, we come elect President Mohamed Buhari to be the president of the country. They cry for the street now say the next election 
They want something fresh and different. People will feed lead the country out of the economic hardship. People will provide basic amenities while he also fit establish international relationship. We go boost the economy. Having just a few minutes ago sown by the Holy Book, I intend to keep my oath and serve as president to all Nigerians. I belong to everybody and I belong to nobody. All this don't make some young people step up to be the next president of the country. But with the way where the nomination forms for the top political parties they set up, it be like say this one fit happen. Which be the character where Nigeria need as president? And which sector supposed be the priority? Which agendas we supposed vote for when people begin to drop their manifestos? How we fit ensure say we vote for capacity over people we just share rice and Gary. This is our conversation today. Hopefully, we go touch light the way forward. Yes, welcome back from that special report. I don't hear um, and um, still looking at what they talk about today about um, uh, the kind of leaders we the country is supposed to expect. And we still get um, our special guest, um, Mazi Sam Ohabunwa. Or inside house, uh, I was still looking to a lot of issues we uh, we get to do with um, leadership because himself don't throw in the toilet, say in one also vibe uh, because that's aspirity we in be. And um, as mo we also going moving forward, we'll go open our phone lines um, for now to also call in, make na contribute. If not get anything, we I won't ask, make na call, make na contribute, make na ask na questions. So we we'll still get our guests for house. Mazi, make we come back to the conversation. Um, the major political parties for inside of Bodo Nigeria, the ruling APC and the major opposition party, People's Democratic Party, uh, if we check how much they put the, the presidential nomination form, form yeah. and the uh, expression of interest form, uh, the APC put their own for 100 million, your party put their own for 40 million. You don't tell us about qualities when we say uh, the person won't go lead for any position go get, but you not talk about the financial capacity mm. of that person. Because plenty of Nigerians go to look say, so who not get 100 million in the case of APC <coughs> or 40 million in the case of your party, the PDP? The person not go fit contest. All these qualities when he gets, no go be anything. And in the case where, for example, um, Association of Rice Farmers, they contribute money for person. <laughs> Friends of this person, they contribute. Go and project Nigeria, they contribute. If people when they say, they gather money, contribute for you, you can't enter there, they go allow you rest. No go talk about this money. Uh, make we use your political party because another one consign you. Team, this 40 million naira, you not think say the thing go come out people when they say get capacity and all these qualities where you talk from participating because they don't get that money. You are right. The thing is that it's a shame that we monetize politics in Nigeria. Mm. It is a shame. That's the truth. Um, and, and that's why people like us, with due respect to everybody, have refrained from coming to this because we couldn't make good sense out of it. You want to come and serve. I'm about to make sacrifice for my country. I'm going to leave my businesses. I'm going to leave everything focused to serve the nation. At, and I'm not expecting any single financial reward myself. And you're asking me to bring 40 million first. If that was all the money you need to bring, that's fine. But as you campaign around both within the party and outside the party, they're asking for money. As if you've committed a crime or you're about to buy a business. It's something I have had difficulty reconciling with. But I'm here today because I've waited for this country to happen. I've carried the burden of expecting my nation to be a globally competitive nation, a nation that works for everybody, a nation where we can be like America, be like Singapore, be like South Korea, be like Malaysia, be like United Arab Emirates. I travel around the country, and my country is put down. Each time they do human development in this, we're down. Life expectancy, we're down. Maternal mortality, we're down. Quality of life, everything Nigeria is down. Corruption, we're the highest. I said, I can't be in the country that I believe I have the competence, I have the character, I have the courage to change things, and I'm waiting for it to, and nobody's about to make it happen. Let me come in. But things like trying to monetize politics is what put us away. Uh, and it's a major issue. Not everybody who has those characters I have spoken will find 40 million. Too. Not okay. talk of 100 million. Mm. It's, uh, it's a joke. OK, uh, Mazi, we get yeah, to um, our joke. first caller. Um, good evening and welcome to Ashley Hot. 
I beg, we will just put this information out there. If you want to call us, reduce the volume of your television. Or carry Waka come out for inside parlor. If you want, make everybody watch you. Say you call the Ogbonge uh, program as in the hot. So that they go hear you, we go hear you. And everybody go hear you. And uh, we not go talk this thing again. If we call it, come they do tun, 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 tun. We go just offer. Or we'll carry padlock, clock the telephone line, and discuss with our Ogbonge visitor, they go. Um, it good as you don't talk about this uh, uh, money matter. And you don't talk, say, truly, truly, you go pursue some kind people yeah. when we say get the qualities to use lead this country. And make we even move to the next level before we take this call for Miriam when they call us. Um, if they don't monetize everything we concern politics inside mm. this country, how exactly we go fit look, say, okay, oh, indeed and truly, 2023 go day different. But we go take this call for Miriam. Miriam, welcome to our city hall. Good evening. I greet you, Miriam. Good, good evening. We greet you, Miriam. Okay, good evening, girl. Good evening, Miriam. Ah, uh, anybody that has the mind to bring out 100 million or a coalition of this and that who abide out of their own benevolence, that's it. That's not just that you something just like that. Either he's expecting something from you back. Or he gets one to wait for a plan. And please, I want to confirm something. I just saw on, on, uh, on channel that uh, uh, our president, good of Jonathan, our former president, that some people got him a fork. Please, I want to confirm. Is good of Jonathan now an APC card, mem card carrying member? I just want to ask an innocent question. Though. Okay. And about you, Oga, you say you want to change the country. Let me not lie to you. We have, I don't know you. This is my first of seeing you on TV. I want to know the achievements, your record, the record you have broken before, before I'll be able to vote for you or do this thing. Because now this is my first of seeing you on TV. All right, all right, all right. Miriam. Thank, thank you, you very, very much, much for the questions when we say you don't ask. I will go and get this talk, go get the opportunity to mm -hmm. answer you. And but to go good, we could just explain them here. Say, uh, he still be aspirant. And uh, now why would they get this kind of conversation about the quality of people when we say supposed leaders inside this country? And if you watch the show from beginning, I don't explain the kind of person when we say him be. They ain't gonna get the chance to explain, oh, but on top of this talk, oh, they talk like this now. Uh, not be that direction, then we'll go go. But to answer your question about whether the former president now can't carry a member of uh, any party inside of Bodo Nigeria, in fact, the APC, like you talk, now he go use the mouth. Come out, come yeah, tell us. Talk, but we go to watch as things them go to unfold. And we'll come back to you, yeah. uh, Mazi Sam. Um, I asked one question before we take that call for Miriam. I've been talking about, you know, when we look, when we look uh, the capacity or the quality of the person when we say, we expect say, this position when, be, when the person go there, the person go, go lead us well. If we can't they talk about money and it can't be like, say, the team, you know, you know, jail. How 2023 go take the difference from other elections where we say now who now person when in pocket load and now person when we say then they receive credit a lot from now he people go come out go vote for you what will be the difference between you, 2023 and other years? You know Nigeria Nigeria is a country that promotes corruption official corruption. When somebody tells you that farmers who are struggling to to survive <laughs> rice farmers what is their profit level? will collect 100 million. How many of them? What's their profit? What's the margin to come and buy from? You can never begin to see this integrity thing, I'm telling you. Somebody will say his friends gathered money. When it is he that raised the money and gave his friends. Lying to us openly and think we are idiots. We should believe them. I thank God for President uh, Obasanjo, who said that anybody who said that people bought ticket for him, he's a liar. He has the integrity that people shouldn't vote for him. Because it's all lies. It's, 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 you know, deceiving the people. The money is their own or arranged by them and then they call people. You know, this is what goes on in politics. They come to a meeting. They go and hire, uh, pay, pay people to come. They say the crowd is one million people, two million people. People are just giving 500 or 1,000 they go. That's the deceit we, we live in and we promote corruption. By forcing people to pay 40 million, 100 million, or whatever, you are indirectly promoting corruption. God in heaven knows that I have no pecuniary expectation 
if, we, if, a, if PDP was asking us to pay 100 million, I probably won't be able to pay. My 40 million, I got my money just 9 a.m. On the, on the day I, I went by midday. And the records are correct. Friends, brothers, everywhere sold my shares, sold assets. Because I want to make sacrifice for my nation. Mm. And it is worth making sacrifice for. I am not expecting one Naira reward. Mm. So I can do that. But what I have difficulty doing is now going to bribe people mm. to come and vote for me, mm. which does not only go for only the issue of uh, primary, mm -hmm. where it is, but, also, but it also goes to ordinary election. Mm. Nigerians expect you to bring them rice, to bring uh, stockfish, to bring oil. And if you don't, they tell you that person brought. Mm. You are not serious. Mm. In fact, for Nigeria, let's be serious. So quality or no quality, Nigerians will, will suppose to ask Nigerians, waiting be the thing we're going to make them vote for somebody. Mm. Because for now, many people believe, say, waiting they make people vote for Nigeria money, money. Or something you give Pardon them. Me, we get people where they expect us uh -huh. to take their calls. Yeah. Stevie, from away, welcome to Asini Hot. Okay, Stevie, you did here. We greet you, August TV. Yeah. Fire down with the year you fire down. I pray say this country don't go hot for all of us. Amen. You see, August TV, the yes. network no clear. What you go do now that to just lock our telephone mm. uh, so that we go just go straight and finish this remaining uh, hours with this conversation when we say we get. Okay, um, Marzi, make I make I ask you this question because um, because now you be the person you say. You come out, you want to indicate interest yeah. uh, to say you want to become, um, you know, you want, you want to lead the country. Sure. Look at Brigham. As um, an individual, we don't show this interest. No. For instance, we could just as you say, for instance, it can't favor you. No, Looking no. at um, how the political system they take operate for Nigeria. Yeah. You know, say you against your political system, what yeah. we don't experience before. Sure. You know, say you go hard. How it is, you go fit, take, and sure, say at least uh, that your vision we say you get for the country. Once we don't enter, that vision no go change because once political parties don't involve, you know, say drama they change. Yeah. Within that we could make you we could convince us to say, okay, oh, you will get that voice to say yes, that your vision will feel work. You know, the thing is that leadership is an art, it's a skill. Uh, and leadership is the ability to move people voluntarily from where they are to where you want them to go. Sometimes it wasn't where they wanted to go before but you are able to sell them the vision that where we are may sound good, but I'm taking you to where it's better. And I try to give you evidence. I want to tell you, sir, that this country is not as difficult to govern as we make it to be. The only thing we're having bigots who call themselves leaders, who take that they are gods or demigods, and they think that the rest of us are idiots. Any time you want to govern and you bring the people you're governing into working with you, arguing with you, agreeing with you, you are going to get greater success. The time I talk about vision, when you design a vision, like I want to take Nigeria to become a first world within the next two circles, under 20 years, Nigeria will be a first world. I mean, under eight, uh, uh, 16 years. Nigeria will be like USA, 16, France, 16 United years, Kingdom. 16 years, but in the first, in the say, four, eight years, God will give us, will have beauty to the level it will become a merchant nation. Mm. Why am I saying so? Is that because the fundamentals are there. Mm. The question I ask me, guys, is let us say you be legislator, you be judiciary, you be labor, you be ASU, you be anything. Me, when I become president, I'm going to call everybody together and say, guys, First, do we want to belong to this country? Are we interested in being a nation? Mm. Hmm? And I believe all of us say we are. We say, good. What kind of nation we want to make we be? Mm -hmm. Oga talk. Oga talk. Everybody Oga will talk. talk their mind. Everybody will talk their mind. We all go agree, okay. Now, this kind of nation we want to be. Okay. Mm -hmm. How we go fit to be that, that nation? You nation. go talk. This man go talk. This person go talk. So you na person where we say everybody go fit talk their mind. Uh -huh. And with the idea where and, they and share. And then I go carry. Mazi Sam, you know what thing will happen? Uh, you go come back again. I did ready. I did ready. That time when you go come, we know say I did ready. Uh, the Jesse go don't clear. I did ready. The number go don't clear. I did ready. And we go just the fire down. Our people went there for house. This na as they hot. I did ready. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from seven o'clock for evening go to eight o'clock. Then we they come. They carry all the action news where they come on smoking inside Nigeria political. 
physical boxing ring to discuss and with you. Remember, Nigeria and our country, you no know, go spoil. Make we join our hand together to move this our country go the permanent side. Uh, we go carry Waka Komo for inside studio. We na go see us on top of uh, the show again on Wednesday. Mazi San Ohuabunwa, presidential aspirant of the People's Democratic Party. Congratulations. Thank you very much. We wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Our people in the house. I've enjoyed my time. Una bye bye.